So we're here in the Super Micro booth. I've got my friend Patrick Chu here. He's showing me his E3.S Petascale server. What's so cool about these? You told me these are really powerful. What's special about them? Yes. Hi, Jordan. This is our Super Micro's latest PCIe Gen 5 system, and okay. it leverages the EDSF form factor. In this system, we can support up to 16 E3 SSD in 1U form factors. And in 2U, we can support up to the 32 E3 SSD. This okay. provides the highest performance in the all-flashy array on the market. And also, uh, we have the PCIe LAN uh, dedicated in the front, shorten the, the distance that we are showing the later to make sure the signal integrities uh, reduce the cabling uh, complexity and the better thermal. In the real side, we also have the four PCI slot, two OCP 3.0 and the two full high half lens car to make sure all the SSD bandwidth can be shared to the network and also the rack. Okay, wow, that's a lot of information there. So PCI Gen 5, you talked a little bit about the signaling. These EDSFF drives, yes. they've got kind of the universal connector on here. What, uh, was there any, any special challenges or anything that you had to work through in order to get it all to work together or you just brought everything closer and it worked? Yeah, this is a new connectors, and uh, we know that UDI2 has been on the market for a while, yeah. and the signal integrity in the PCIe Gen 5 in the future Gen 6 will be challenging. So this is a new industry standard, and make sure the easy for our platform and also better uh, uh, quality of the service for the signal integrity and uh, easy uh, for the thermal, because you can see this is much thicker, thinner than the before, right? Yeah. So this is a new technology than the, on the industry. All right, so to talk about the Gen 5 storage, these are really cool. These are the uh, D5 P5430 Solidime drives. Correct. Yes. I've got my friend Bill Panos from Solidime here. He's the guy for these things. <laughs> what can you tell me about these new drives? Right, so these are incorporating our latest and greatest 192-layer QLC, wow. fourth-generation QLC. We've been at it a while, right? Yeah. Uh, and we've, what we've done is we put this in a E3.S form factor, EDSF form factor, uh, and incorporated it into the uh, Petascale systems. So the thing about these drives is important, too, to note that um, they're uh, very high density, extreme density, yeah. right? Uh, for these drives alone, we offer anywhere from a 3.84 all the way up to a 30.72 terabyte oh, wow. capacity. Yeah, yeah, these are like half the height of these big 60 terabyte guys, but I guess when you start talking density, now you're getting better bandwidth out of it because the PCI Gen 5, Correct. and you can stack two of these in roughly the same space, so you're Correct. already at the density with this with these new faster guys. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, case in point with the, the, the need for density is also the need, like you say, for performance and throughput. Um, these have incredibly high bandwidth performance, low latency, yeah. even under multi-tenancy. We've gone and designed the product to have high performance because you just can't have capacity alone. Right. You need that performance aspect, right? And that That's low the latency. That's big thing these days. Correct, correct. And so we offer a product that's here, the 5430, which is very similar to a drop-in replacement of other drives that you may have, maybe SATA-related or SAS-related. Yep. We offer another product as well, which is even higher density of up to 61.44 terabytes yep. for our P5336 product. We love those. Yes, offered in a U.2 as well as we have E3.S and E1.L. Awesome. Product, yeah. Having this kind of density that close to storage with the low latency must be a really good thing, right? You guys gotta be looking at the AI story as a whole, right? Absolutely. I mean, we have a whole array of products, even beyond the QLC products, that are beneficial to every aspect of AI, whether we're talking about training, whether we're talking about checkpointing, inference, or even on the on the back end, right? So when you look at some of our products, we have our TLC-based products that we would largely mitigate those towards training or even inference. When you're talking at the far edge, yeah. we have applicability to QLC where you need that high throughput even on the reads. And the durability. And the durability and the reliability, yeah. right? And sustainability, right? I've done some pretty mean things to your drives. I haven't <laughs> killed one yet. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and to say, you know, sustainability is really important, right? I mean, you yeah. need you need that uh, product reliability uh, in the drive, which we do have. We have world-class uh, leading uh, silent data corruption capability that we've tested at uh, Lawrence Livermore Labs. Yeah. Uh, and which SDO, silent data corruption, you know, right. it's beneficial because you don't want to have flip bits, right, with your SRAM yeah, and these kind of things. Cosmic rays going cosmic in there rays and going messing on, with right? your AI. And so, and that's key, right? Yeah. And so we've not only tested that, but we've measured it synthetically. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, so you need that reliability, you need that sustainability, and Uber, 
down to the 180 to the minus 17. Yep. Uh, again, I think when you kind of compare that to the other products that are out there, even HDDs, I'm not so sure you get that equivalency. So when you're moving into AI, you need these kind of things of reliability and yeah. durability. And right? especially as it kind of disseminates out into all aspects of our lives and we're pushing, like correct. you talked about, that far edge and getting correct. the extreme stuff there. Yes, correct, so. right, exactly. So Solidime's got a lot of really great offerings in their portfolio right now, a lot of stuff for AI coming out in partnership with, partnership with Supermicro? Yep. Okay, in partnership with Supermicro and their E3.S servers. Um, PCI Gen 5. That's gonna be a pretty quick drive. When do we get to find out about that? That's gonna be coming out later this year. We'll have more information on that product right. uh, and more details. And uh, once we announce that, you'll be able to go out to uh, solidine.com okay. and get the information that you want on that drive. Um, and if you want any information on high density QLC or any of our other products that we have, yeah. uh, you can go to solidime.com. We have tools, we have resources there. We have uh, calculators to calculate things like performance across specific workloads, endurance. Yep. We have white papers and articles uh, okay. around use cases as well. Super cool. All right. Well, that's super cool. There's a lot of interesting technologies that go in there. You want to kind of talk about the whole server and maybe crack her open and see inside? Oh, definitely. We can open it here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got it opened up. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. I, you know, a lot of familiar super micro design, but I'm seeing some things that are a little bit different. What did you guys do in here? Yes, definitely. In order to provide the better signal integrity, we move all the MCL connected to the front, shorten the distance from the motherboard MC card connector to the drive, ensure the, uh, the signal integrity, and then you can see the cabling is going through the fan. We want to provide the best thermal in class to cool down the system. And on, on the other hand, this is an Intel base, so we have a dual socket uh, Intel uh, Gen 5 CPU and the support up to the 32D, and then we have two PCIe LAN. Uh, by 16 in the real side and those two OCP super your NIC for your networking. All and Gen 5? Everything is Gen 5 and also the DDR5. Okay, yes. very cool. So you could almost use this as a storage server and put uh, like a small uh, A2 from NVIDIA in oh, here definitely, definitely. and do uh, inferencing on your data on your storage exactly. server. Exactly. You have a data, you have the compute, and you have a GPU. This will be one of like kind of a converge boxes of the main use case. Yeah, so if you've got the right workload or something, maybe this could be all you need for uh, for the AI for yes. your business. and then in one use case. Yeah, very cool. What do we got around back? In the back side, we have a two power supply, 1600 okay. watts, and the two full high half lens PCI slot. You can use it for the uh, DPU, you can yep. use the Bluefield 3 or any other uh, extension, and also two OCP 3.0 NIC. You can put a kind of a regular networking to the network, uh, to the, to the, to the network. Very cool. It's a well-designed server. I can tell you guys really thought about the design when you put it together in here, uh, from the PCI signaling to the layout here in the back and the flexibility that it provides. Really appreciate you showing me around your platform and uh, thanks for having us out here. Yep. Thanks. It's my honor. All right, thank you, Jordan. Thanks.